Hello YouTube pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM on an HP ProDesk 600 G4. I have done a video in the past on which I enable TPM on older HP models. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. So as you can see, this is Windows 11. So it can be Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, doesn't make a difference. So here you go to the search bar and you type tpm.msc. So once you do that, it's going to uh, find this tool, tpm.msc. So you click on that, and after a few seconds, it's going to show you this. Compatible TPM cannot be found. As you can see, it's telling me that uh, the TPM cannot be found on this computer. Verify that this computer has at least 1.2 TPM or later, and if it's turned on in the BIOS. So we cannot do anything here. By the way, not all computers have TPM, so keep that in mind. Now, as you can see, this is Windows 11, and you might be wondering, how do you have Windows 11 without TPM? So once you install it, uh, and then you can disable it, like I did for this video. Windows just doesn't care. So now we are going to proceed to restore the computer and get access to the BIOS. So we go to the search, to the Windows button, and, we, and you press on Restart. So as you can see, the computer is restarting, and now I'm pressing Escape to get access to the BIOS. So, well, this is the startup menu. This is how it looks. So now we are going to go to BIOS setup or just press F10. So we go there, we press enter, and now we're going to see more menu. So as you can see here, I'm going to show you first the system information for this computer. So you can see there the name of the computer, HP ProDesk 600G4DM. You can see the RAM, the processor, and all that. So I have done a video, uh, some videos in the past for this model, how to reset the BIOS password and how to upgrade the BIOS version. So if you're, if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the links in the video description below. So now we go to security, and here you can see TPM embedded security. So very obvious. And you click on that, and as you can see, TPM 2.0, it's hidden now. I'm going to put it available. And we have to select this TPM state, but it's not uh, available for us right now. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go to TPM one more time to see that everything is as it should. But TPM is not, uh, we cannot enable it. So we're, we're, I'm going to save the changes, yes, and the computer is going to restart. So don't worry about that. So after that, I'm not pressing anything, and right away it's going to tell me this. A confirmation change was requested to enable the computer TPM. So press F1 to accept. I'm going to do it because that's what I want. The computer is going to continue booting. And now I'm going to start pressing the escape key one more time to access to the, to the BIOS. So as you can see, this is the startup menu. I go to BIOS setup. I go to security one more time. I go to TPM Embedded Security, and now TPM State is available, so I can click on that. I, I was not able to do that before, so I click on that, and everything is uh, enabled now, as you can see there. So I go back, uh, Main, and Save Changes, and Exit. I click on that, and the computer is going to continue booting over here. So you don't press anything now. And now this is the login for Windows 11. So I type my password and right away we are going to go to the same place, tpm.msc. We are going to type that. So on you tpm.msc, you click on that. And now we have a different message. As you can see, this is totally different. And we have TPM on the computer. The TPM is ready to use. If we go down, we can see the manufacturer, the version and the specific version, which is 2.0. Okay. So now, we have that, and that's how you enable TPM. Now we go to this PC, and you right-click on the C drive, because normally you want TPM to turn on BitLocker, okay? I'm not going to do it in this video because I have done it already, but I just want to show you that this is the most common reason to enable TPM, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, okay? So that's how you enable TPM on a new HP computer. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.